now on the wildfires in California. Winds set to pick up again, spreading smoke and ash. And right now, 21 fires are burning, scorching nearly 200,000 acres. At least 31 people have died. ABC's Lindsay Janice is on the scene in Santa Rosa. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, George. This is the fate that so many people here still face. If they manage to get out alive, they just don't know what they're going to be coming home to. Look at this. This was somebody's home gym right here, the treadmill. And just over here, iron barbells, some of the things that survived the searing heat. But look at this entire neighborhood consumed by flames. This morning, firefighters once again worried about those strong winds. They're asking everybody to pay extremely close attention to emergency services. This morning, California wine country under siege. 21 monster fires raging, forcing mass evacuations and prompting this warning from the mayor of one town. You will not be given life safety support at this point. You are on your own. If you're trying to visit Calistoga, you are not welcome. Aircraft like this DC-10, now part of the assault on the fires that have so far scorched an area the size of New York City, killing at least 31 people, hundreds more reported missing. This is the deadliest week in California wildfire history. On the front lines, firefighters desperately trying to prevent the giant fires from merging together. The fire is moving quickly up this hillside. These engines are trying to get to homes to protect them. Crews fighting the flames by hand. We need to know what's below us, what's above us, because it affects everything. In devastated Santa Rosa, authorities using cadaver dogs to find victims. Identification is going to be hard. Still, emerging from the destruction, incredible stories of survival. Jan and John Pasco riding out the inferno for six hours in their neighbor's pool. We tried to get out here, in our cars. We ran down here and we found our way into this pool. Other residents frustrated. They didn't have time to flee. We never got any kind of official notification that we needed to get out. The night the fires broke out, Sonoma County officials opting not to send alerts, afraid of causing panic. As if losing everything wasn't enough, the people who live here are not allowed to come back. Firefighters say it's simply too dangerous and they don't have the manpower to bring them here. But this is a lovingly landscaped backyard and there is treasure in this debris right here. A sign with the family's name on it. Robin. Well, so, so, all right. Thank you very much.